the Money Matters Podcast tip of the day. Don't let money get bored. If somebody gets bored, what do they do? They get they go to somewhere where it's fun. You know, you let money get bored, it goes to somebody that knows how to use the money to not let the money get bored. How does money get bored? You just keep your money. You don't keep the money active. The money just stay in the bank or stay in your pocket. It does nothing for you. And from inflation and depreciation and all that stuff take place, the money loses its value. Um, it's not worth the same amount that it was worth um, when you had it because you just kept that money and you never try to find a way to put that money to work. So what's going to happen is the money is going to lose value while you're holding it. It's not like somebody's going to grab the money from you. Once you're holding that money, that money is going to lose value eventually and it's not going to be worth the same amount of money that you had it. That is how money, when money gets bored, that's how it leaves you and it will go to somebody that knows how to use it. Yes, definitely. Yes, Um. So if you had money that could probably purchase a hundred bags of cement in 2010, that same amount could probably get you about five bags of cement in 2019. So with that being said, you always have to make sure you're putting your money into the best use so it doesn't lose value. So if you have money, uh, X amount of money that could purchase about a hundred bags of cement in 20, 2010, and you did not use that money for those bags of cement. And now you're in 2019 and you're trying to buy 100 bags of cement. It's probably going to cost you two, three times more than what it cost in back in 2010. So basically, if you have money sitting in your savings account without accruing no interest that's or dividends, that's exactly what you're doing. You are just losing value of that money every day. So what can we do? Instead of that money just sitting there doing nothing, we can look for other avenues, other ventures, other investment plans and just throw the money into uh, those accounts or portfolios and have the money work for you. The whole purpose of savings is to have that money go and do a certain amount, amount of work. So you also, you can also make money off that money. People are rich and they're rich because the money that they made initially are out there working for them. They personally actively don't work. The money is actively working while they sit and watch the progress of the money. So we should always look for ways. And avenues where the whatever that we've saved could get out there and work and also bring us returns and dividends. So don't let money sit idle. If you're sitting idle in a in a savings account that's probably making you point zero zero one percent interest every year, you're not it's not even worth the the, the inflation or depreciation in value of the things that you would need tomorrow. So it's definitely not worth it. Ask questions, talk to people, and I'm pretty sure there are people out there who can guide and, and teach you uh, how to get the most out of your uh, savings. Yeah, so basically money over time loses loses its purchasing power, you know. The money loses its purchasing power, and if forty thousand dollars twenty years um, ago is not worth the same as forty thousand dollars today, so you want to make sure that um, you don't let the money sit down and get bored. You like like Alex said, you want to put the money to work. You know, putting the money to work is how you prevent the money from getting bored. You don't want the money getting bored. You want to put it to work so it could bring more money to you. Thank you for listening to the Money Matters Podcast Tip of the Day.